Hey guys, so it's Bria aka B's Beauty Key and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a brown smoky eye kind of thing. You know, when you see it, it explains itself. But I will be doing a voiceover for this video, so I really have nothing else to say. Enough with the intro. Let's just get into this juicy tutorial. Okay, so to start off, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. And this is what I'm going to use to prime my eyelids and use this as a base. And now I'm just blending it out with my sponge. And now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and set that concealer. Now I'm taking my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking Burnt Orange and using this as a transition shade. And the key to everything is just blending, so just keep blending and have patience. Now I'm taking Rosiana and I'm going to put this where I put Burnt Orange as well. And the brush I'm using came with the Modern Renaissance palette, so. Now I'm taking this brownish shade out of the Morphe 350 palette and using this to blend. And now I'm taking this dark brown shade at the bottom of the palette and I'm taking the other side of the brush that I got out of my Modern Renaissance palette and packing this brown on. Now I'm taking this brush, I forgot where it's from, and blending that out. Now I'm taking Cyber something from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I will be using this above that brown. And I really, really like this brown out of this palette because it's very pigmented and it's just really pretty. And I'm telling you, the key is just to blend, 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 blend and blend especially when you're trying to achieve a smoky eye when you want to achieve a smoky eye you have to have patience because you have to blend the colors out in order for it to blend into each other and look nice and seamless and I'm just Blending and blending and blending and more blending with a different brush. This brush I'm blending with is the Morphe 503 brush. Now I'm going to put my lashes on and I'll be back. Okay, so now we're on to the face. I will be taking my Pond's Makeup Remover to remove all the fallout that fell onto my face and wiping that away with a napkin. Now taking my MAC Prep and Prime and I will be using this as my primer today. Now taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Orange Corrector and this is where I'm going to correct all my dark areas like under my eyes and my little mustache area and I just blended that out with my finger. In my foundation routine, this clip is going to be really fast because if you guys want an in-depth foundation routine then you can let me know and I will give that to you. But Taking my two foundations, my LA Girl Pro Concealer, I mean, my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation, and this is bronze. And my secondary foundation that I'm using is my Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the color Deep 74 Warm. And I just blended all of this out with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. And now taking the Warm Honey, and using this to highlight under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. Now. 
now I will just blend that out. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick and this is in the color Espresso and this is what I'll be using to contour. And now I'm going to blend it out with an e.l.f. stippling brush. Now I'm going to blend everything together to make sure everything fades into each other. And now I'm going to take this regular brush to blend out my nose contour. And now I'm going to take the sponge to blend it out even more. Now I am going to take my Sasha Butter Cup setting powder and put this everywhere where I put my highlight which is under my eyes on my forehead on the bridge of my nose and on my chin and anywhere else that I tend to get oily because I do have oily skin but setting my contour now with the BH Cosmetics contour palette and this angle brush that I got from a pack from forever 21 a while ago Now I'm going to cut my contour with the same Sasha Buttercup powder. And don't mind me, I look a little crazy, but it's okay. <laughs> and now I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio, and this is just black liner. And I'm putting this on my waterline. Now I'm going to dust everything away with this big powder brush that I got from Forever 21 as well. And just make sure that you dust everything good. Make sure that you dust everything away really good. And I may look a little powdery right now, but it'll all come together. But now taking a detailed brush that I got from e.l.f. And taking that shade that you just seen, I will be putting this under my lash line. And I just don't like the fact that Morphe doesn't have colors, don't have names for their colors because it's really hard to like explain to you guys so you just can see what colors I use. Now I'm going to take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, I always mess that up, and just set my makeup with that. And now I'm just taking my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. You can use any mascara to be honest. And now taking a regular plain brown lip liner, and I'm going to line my lips and fill it in. A little bit not all the way taking this beautiful NYX lipstick from the NYX lingerie line and this is the color beauty mark and I'm just going to fill in my lips with this Then I'm taking my glow kit and I'm just going to put it on the high points of my cheeks and where I want them to go. And this concludes the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will be back later. Bye.